Welcome to Total Medway. Today we are going to discuss the simulations of colliding pipes. This is the simulation that we are going to show to all of you. One pipe is colliding to another pipe and the position is 19 degrees angle each other. Okay, let's see the problem that we have. The first pipe on the top of the second pipe it has the modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascal and the Poisson ratio 0.3. The diameter of the pipe 50 millimeters and the length 500 millimeters having the thickness 0.5 millimeters. The second pipe is also identical in terms of the material properties as well as the physical dimension. The same diameter, the same length, as well as the same thickness. And the uh, pipe number two, both ends are constrained. So the end of this pipe cannot move along the transitional direction, X, Y, and Z direction. And the first pipe on the top is moving downward 84 millimeters with the velocity 14 millimeters per second. So this is very slow and the um, simulation will be conducted in quasi-static mode. The movement of the pipe will be represented by these two lines only. So the middle of the pipes are not defined for the movement of the pipe. So only these two lines only. The stability of the pipe the movement pipe, which is pipe number one, this line is defined that all the nodes along this line are not moving to Z direction. Therefore, this pipe will be stable in terms of the movement that will be only moving to Y direction, as well as to make it stable, this line also not rotating about x axis so hopefully the movement of this pipe will be moving towards y direction only and to make it uh, more stable one node here on the top is also fixed that this node is not allowed to move X direction. As a result, this pipe combined with the previous constraint will be only moving towards Y direction. To define the contact pairs, the bottom surface of the first pipe is defined as the surface 2 of the contact pair, whereas the top of the surface of the pipe number two are defined as surface number one. So these two surfaces will be defined as the contact pairs. So whenever the surface touch with another surface, it will be defined as the contact problems. Then hopefully all the elements will not penetrate to each other. Okay, let's uh, start modeling on MacWay. Okay, this is our MacWay environment. Let's start doing the modeling of the two pipes. The first pipe that I'm going to draw is the pipe um, number two, which is uh, the pipe at the bottom. So I start creating a circle by using curve generator. So select the circle or eclipse using the same diameter which is 50 millimeters okay and the number of elements along the circle I will select 20 instead of 32 then click apply okay I cannot see the circle but when I click the fit to window then I will see the whole circle 
consists of 20 elements or 20 divisions. Then I'm going to extrude this to Z direction to create a pipe with the length of 500 millimeters. So go to mesh tools and then extrude on minus Z direction and the length will be uh, 500 and then I will divide into uh, 10 subdivisions then apply okay so I have already created pipe number two then uh, from this pipe number two because the material properties as well as the dimensions are identical to pipe number one so what I'm going to do is to clone this pipe into another one so I select this then I'm going to uh, copy and select copy then I'm going to translate to Y direction because the uh, the diameter of the pipe is 50 millimeters I'm going to uh, copy to Y direction with the distance of 52 millimeters so there will be one millimeter space in between because the thickness of the pipe is uh, 0 0.5 okay then click apply okay then uh, from here I'm going to uh, hang on uh, make it different so let's see make the new elements to new component okay this is pipe number one and that one is pipe number two okay now I'm going to rotate this pipe to make it uh, clear I'm going to hide pipe number two first so only visible pipe number one that will be easier go to mesh tools and then rotate uh, I need to select the axis of the rotation so it will be somewhere exactly in the middle of the pipe so one two three four five so here I select the node one two three four five okay this one Okay, then I'm going to uh, rotate all the elements 90 degrees angle. The axis is Y axis and click apply. Okay, I have already two pipes with 90 degrees angle different. Okay, this is the two pipes. Then I'm going to apply to assign the new materials so the thickness of the cell is 0 0.5 and the uh, young modulus 200 Poisson ratio 0 0.3 and the density uh, for the steel for example 8000 kilogram per meter cubic okay and pipe number two also the same thing just assign material and select the previous material that we have already defined okay that's it now you can see the thickness of the pipe here you can see 0 0.5 so after this we are going to do the simulation by uh, assigning the constraints, assigning the contact pairs, 
as well as the moving definition.